people. So, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, the truth is going to come out. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, the truth is going to come out. And when the truth come out, and you guys finally realize that Meg, the male horse, did not get shot in both of her feet, what are you guys going to say? I should have listened to Pastor Michael Smith. Pastor Michael Smith was saying the right thing all along. Because I am the only one saying that Megan Thee Stallion didn't get shot. But guess what? Megan Thee Stallion's close friends, Kelsey and Kelly or whatever her name is, you know what I'm saying? They are now arguing and beefing back and forth over money, over something, you know what I'm saying? Somebody paid somebody to keep their mouth shut and all this other stuff. Well, it's going to finally come out. And like I said, anyway, let's go ahead and get it to this, to this news report. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. Thank you for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. My co-host is Brother Lam... Um, I'm, I ain't got no co-host. Why well, don't I keep saying I keep my... You know what I'm saying? I, my, my mind is focused on a co-host when I am my co-host. Well, you know what I'm saying, but the co-host is Pastor Michael Smith. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Hit that like button, share button, comment board. And don't forget, if you want more exclusive content, exclusive conversation, weekly Bible study, and much, much more, well, join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group. You can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page. P-S-T-R, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. All right, so I'm looking at this news report. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know what I'm saying? And this what see this is what happens when you get a lot of young folks together, and a lot of young folks together who think they know something, they don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? They think they got friends when they don't got friends. You know what I'm saying? You don't have friends if your friends is motivated by money. Oh, I got to back that up a little bit. Because what I see in this news story, and you guys can check this news story out for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Over at MediaTakeout.com. That's where I got it from, MediaTakeout.com. You know what I'm saying? Megan the Stallions. It says, Megan the Stallions' close friends, close friend, have turned on her. Went on social media. And started talking about how Megan the Stallion paid somebody. I think Megan the Stallion paid somebody, pay her to keep her mouth shut, or Tory Lane. Somebody paid somebody to keep their mouth shut about Tory Lane's and about Megan the Stallion getting shot. You know what I'm saying? Somebody. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. When you have friends. And your friends is motivated by money. If you only got friends because you got money, then those are not your friends. Understand that. If you got friends and those friends are only motivated by because you are the biggest, you know what I'm saying, woman on the block. You know what I'm saying? You got that clout on the block. You got that respect on the block. Then that's not friends. They're just following you because they're scared of you. they just following you because it's an opportunity they can get out of following you. There is nothing like genuine friends. See, when you uh, come together and when you understand that you are from the 12 tribes of Israel and you join in with a camp, an Israelite camp, like Gospel Talk Radio, like Illuminati Radio, you know what I'm saying? When you join in with a camp, it's nothing but brotherly and sisterly love there. You don't have to worry about somebody backbiting you. You don't have to worry about somebody blackballing you or blackmailing you or, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about none of that. Because we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. But you see, when you're dealing with the world... <laughs> Out here, <laughs> it's a rough world out there. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Megan the Stallion, is, it, the truth is going to come out. And you guys going to understand that Megan the Stallion lied to you. You're going to understand that Tori Lanez lied to you. Because like I always said, and every time I do a report on Megan the Stallion, I'm going to always emphasize the fact that 
rewind the tape back to that first TMZ video where the LA police was pulling Megan, Megan Thee Stallion and Tori Lanez out of that SUV. I'm going to always say this. When Tory Lanez got out the SUV, he was fully clothed. He got out the SUV and hurried up and got on the ground. Now, when Megan Thee Stallion got out of the SUV, she was butt naked. Now, how I know she was butt naked? Because the news media would not blur you from head to toe unless you ain't got no clothes on. So, that tells me that she was butt naked. So, what really transpired inside of that SUV? Did Tory was Tory Langs about to, you know what I'm saying, do to do with Megan Thee Stallion and Megan Thee Stallion took off her clothes and Tory Langs found something there that was not supposed to be there on Megan Thee Stallion and then started to argue and then threatened to shoot her but didn't shoot her but threatened to shoot her. Did that happen? Because somebody still ain't explained that part. Why was Tory Lanez fully clothed, and why was Megan Thee Stallion butt naked? Somebody seen something that somebody did not pursue. Because I'm going to put it like this, and I got to, you know what I'm saying, I got to um, watch my mouth because you know I'm on YouTube, and you know YouTube like to censor me and do all sorts of stuff to me. So I say it like this, if I'm with a chick, right? You know what I'm saying? I've been with plenty of chicks, you know what I'm saying? Especially when I was down in Georgia, I've been with plenty of chicks. You know what I'm saying? I met chicks in the club and stuff like that. And we didn't make it back to the hotel fast enough. We, you know what I'm saying, ended up getting busy in the SUV. So, if I'm in the SUV with a woman, both of our clothes is coming off. But if I'm in the SUV with a woman, and the woman take her clothes off first... And I see something that's not supposed to be on that woman. I'm not taking off my clothes. Matter of fact, I'm going to threaten to do something to that woman for leading me on to make me think that you was a woman. You know what I'm saying? It all goes back to the SUV. Never mind all of the, 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 the hoopla that Megan Thee Stallion is speaking on, you know what I'm saying, on social media. Never mind all the hoopla that Megan Thee Stallion friends is speaking about. It all goes back to the SUV. What happened that Megan Thee Stallion was butt naked and Tory Lanez was fully clothed? Put yourself in their shoes. If... A woman misled, well, if a man misled you to think that he was a woman and you got inside an SUV to get it on, like Marvin Gaye said, and that woman or man pulls off her clothes and you see something there that's not supposed to be there, what would you do as a man? Would you get upset? Would you start arguing? Would you kind of threaten to do something to that man? Because if this leaks out that I'm inside of SUV, but naked, with, uh, I'm not going to say the word because I know YouTube is listening to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the SUV, caught in the SUV with a thing. I'm going to call him a thing. With a thing. And that gets out. Do you know what that will do to my ministry? Just imagine all of the people that I went after, you know what I'm saying, about this type of this type of material. Imagine. And then they finally catch me with that thing. Oh, that will be all over social media. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not, you know what I'm saying, all I'm saying is, before you, you know what I'm saying, start to talk and saying that, oh, Megan Thee Stallion, who's paying who off not to say what? Is Megan Thee Stallion paying somebody off not to blurt out that she is what I always say she was? Or is Tory Lanez paying off somebody not 
to tell the world that Tory Lanez was about to do it to do with something that is not really a woman. But the secrets will be revealed, people. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You cannot hide the truth. The truth will come out. But this is news, people. You know what I'm saying? I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. Thank you for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. And my co-host is Pastor Mr. Michael Smith. Yeah, I got that right now. I got that right. Finally. Finally, I got that right. Okay, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you like this show. Hit that hate button if you hate this show. Hit that comment button if you have a question or comment on this show. Don't forget, people, um, <clears throat> if you want more exclusive content, exclusive conversations, weekly Bible study, and much, much more, or join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group, you can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, PSTR, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. Next time, stay tuned. God bless you.